Not look. This is not going very well. What are you laughing at? Nothing. Tell me. You Nothing. can't laugh like that in front of everybody and not explain what happened. Good day, everyone. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by Blue Moon. Sponsored by I'm just kidding. It's not sponsored what by Blue. What was it Moon. that I kept saying? Hashtag, oh, Whataburger. Whataburger. <laughs> so let's 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 jump Sorry. into this. I, I think this one's going to be cool. So I, those of you who watch the channel regularly, you're going to be highly aware that I love to switch gears on Annie on a regular <laughs> basis. If you and also if you haven't noticed, my chair is not the same. We have a double sided desk here. Harrison's on the other side of us, actually doing homework. He's so dedicated during this time. <laughs> and she's laughing at him because he's doing homework. <laughs> oh, and she's sitting here goofing off with me. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this one. Um, let me back up a little bit. And I was mentioning that for those of you who don't watch the channel regularly, um, aren't as familiar with the fact that I switch stuff up like crazy when it comes to listening to music with her. I always want to go from one genre to the next genre to the next genre. And I'm starting to really figure out what works well, what doesn't work at all. Um, but the, the cool thing is, is it's a win-win for me no matter what we watch because she's become known as this stone-faced person who nobody ever wants to play poker with, but, and people love it, they think it's hilarious, but at the same time when she gives a reaction, it's like a whole different level and everybody gets so excited if she cracks a smile or talks or whatever. So I'm mixing it up all the time with her. Um, and this is a really big mix up. And if you guys watch both videos that we're gonna put out today, uh, you'll see what I'm talking about from just going from one direction to a wildly different direction. Um, so stay tuned for the second one here in a bit. But now we're gonna do meatloafs. Uh, I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. And it's actually a very, very confusing song if you don't know what you're listening for. It seems like it's very, very simplified. Um, and for years, it was this big debate. Like, what is this song about? What is it about? You can't really tell what it's about, but once it's explained to you, it makes perfect sense. For the longest time, I thought it was about, I would do anything for love, but I won't do that, meaning I won't cheat. There's a line towards the very end of the, uh, of the song, and she's like, uh, sooner or later, you'll be screwing around and, you know, insinuating cheating. And he's like, he's like, I wouldn't do that. He goes, I'll do anything for love, but I won't do that. So for the longest time, I thought it was about cheating, but it's not. It's actually about a whole lot of different things. And as you're listening to it, and for those of you that don't know this or haven't thought about it, and you too, as you're listening to it, listen to the line before he says, I won't do that. That's what he's saying he won't do. He's like, I'll do anything for love, but I won't do that because there's a big long list throughout the song of what he's talking about. So anyway, another cool thing about this, we're gonna do the original video. I think, I don't know how long it is. It's maybe almost 12 minutes, something like that. It was directed by Michael Bay. So it is a massive, massive like, you can tell immediately that it's directed by Michael Bay for those of you who know who he is. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. You seem very excited as you staring off into space. Sorry. Are you are you longing to be outside right now? Yes. Yeah, I know. I work from home. I'm home all the time. You're kind of used to it. But even but, but regardless, even the fact that you're not allowed to makes you want to go out more. Right. That's it right there. <laughs> I, I had a I had a video call the other day and I was like, you know, I work from home. I mean, this is nothing new to me, but the fact that I can't leave now makes, makes me want to leave. makes me want to get out of here. <laughs> but don't worry, guys. We have not. We've been following the rules. Um, anyway, enough about that. Let's go ahead and jump into some meatloaf. I'd do anything for love, but I won't do that. Directed by Michael Bay. And then don't forget, stay tuned for the second video I'm going to put out today. It's going to be so wildly different than this one. What are you laughing at? Tell me. Meatloaf. Oh, oh, meatloaf. You know how he got his name? I don't like meatloaf. He's a, he's a, I know you don't like the meal meatloaf. The meal. He's a, he's this really big guy. And in high school, his football coach. No, was would, his nickname meatloaf? His football coach called him meatloaf and it stuck. And that has been his, that's, that's what he's crazy. gone as. Yeah. So anyway, this song actually reached number one in the UK and in the US mm -hmm. back in, uh, back in the early nineties, 93. Um, anyway, that's, I guess that's enough about the song. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Don't forget our $1 a month Patreon account. Got a lot of exclusive content out there. And also me and her kind of are having this race on subs on followers on youtube i mean on instagram, um, instagram. and she's <laughs> she she only posts like once every two three okay, weeks I if that today though she did post today i'll go look at my new post right and, now go 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 and yet she's 400 followers ahead of me so you guys get out there and follow my instagram it's below i'll put both links below 
I'll play fair. Let's go ahead and jump into some meatloaf for now, guys. Also, the original studio version is 12 minutes. I was wrong about that. This video is uh, almost eight minutes. And you can see it looks like it's directed by Michael Bay. <laughs> This is like one of those huge production songs, like just monster production type songs. And the whole song, or the whole video is kind of based on like um, Beauty and the Beast. You're expecting some heavy guitar and screaming? Yeah. I would Just do love it. anything for love. I'll never lie to you, and that's a fact. But I'll never forget the way you feel right now. Oh, no. She's never going to forget the way she feels. No way. And I would do anything for love. But he won't do that. Okay. Oh, that, that's how you have to listen. Okay, I am. I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. No, I won't do that. And some days it don't come easy. And some days it don't come hard Some days it don't come at all And these are the days that never end That's actually not the real singer. There's a woman's part in this. Uh, it's a different lady, but they got her, who's a model. That's lame. To do Well, it's a big production. Who they want, cares? They wanted, in, they wanted like a model actress in That's there. That's rude. That <laughs> they just wanted a model actress in there. That's she does a killer job of sinking. Just wait for it. I think you'll like the like it when she starts singing towards she the latter half. Not, if it was like the the late, the original singer's idea and she didn't want to be on in this, I'd be know. fine. But if they're like, no, we're getting a prettier girl. I've that got, is so me. I've got wildly. I've got some crazy stories about that actually happening, where the original singer was cut out on purpose and super upset. Yeah. Anyway, I, I can. Would be. I can tell you about those another time. Maybe we'll just do a video and I can explain it during that. Anyway, let's let's keep going. Didn't mean to pause the Michael Bay short movie. <laughs>
before she kicks in singing. There's almost it almost has like this fifties vibe of what are you laughing at? Nothing. Tell me. You Nothing. can't laugh like that in front of everybody and not explain what happened. Are you laughing at Harrison? Are you mimicking me? No, no. I was just looking at it. You just made eye contact. Okay, they, uh, they've had this thing of mimicking later with my hands. No, I wasn't mimicking. She was has. Me. She has. Anyway, um, what I was going to tell you is I feel like there's like... So meatloaf is a big guy. Not look. This is not going very well. Anyway, he was really big in the 70s and almost pretty much skipped the 80s. And then in the early 90s, he just started killing it again with music and videos. Mm -hmm. So there's definitely this huge vibe of like 70s music here from some of his old classic stuff, uh, especially from a big epic proportion. Like there's just a handful of songs. Maybe we can dig them to another time. But there's also, also feel like there's this 50s beat to it when it kicks in. But anyway, I wanted to stop it before she started singing here in a second. The cheating part. No, I won't do that. For love. Oh, I would do anything for love. I would do anything for love. But I won't do that. No, I Okay, so it randomly just cut off right there. So anyway. Uh Big production, big video, big song, I can big guy. I can, <laughs> I can tell that it's not that girl's voice because, I mean, yeah, she like lip synced it perfectly. Like that's like great. But the way she looks doesn't match with the voice. Yeah, that happens sometimes though. And you should have saw. She looks like she would have like a, like a tinier voice. You know, I don't know how to explain it. Like the voice that's singing is more full. Well, I mean, I get what you're saying, but a lot of times, I, and I, we know it's not her. That probably, yeah, if I wouldn't probably, have told you, you probably wouldn't I, have thought about it. You no, know, I, I think I would still like see something that's off about it, but. You want to see a voice that doesn't match? Rick Astley in the 80s when he came out with uh, Never Gonna Give You Up. Never Gonna Give You Up. Everybody was like, have you seen this guy? Have you seen this guy? He doesn't look like he should be singing like that. He looks like he fits it now, if you see him now, but back in the 80s, it's like, that voice doesn't match that guy at all. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and close this one out. I liked it though. I can tell. I did. <laughs> Just not enough to ever leave it on if you're by yourself, not enough I to. I would leave it on. Depending on the circumstance. Yeah. Okay. What if you were cleaning and it came on? Because I know you have like this cleaning well, I, playlist. Well, yeah, I have a playlist. I know, but what if, okay, I'm just saying, what if it came on while you were cleaning? Would you listen to it? Is it a cleaning song? Um, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I don't. Coming to you soon. It's. A Thomas only Your channel. questions are complicated. <laughs> oh, it's not that complicated. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and uh, end this quickly before we start losing our actual subscribers. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope is the key word there. Just kidding. It's funny. You're funny. 
Um, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget uh, about our Instagram race. She's winning, even though I post every single day, sometimes multiple times a day. And she posts what once every when? Once every few months, maybe. And yet she's still three hundred. Last time I posted was Thanksgiving, and then I randomly posted today. Thanks, guys. We're out.